Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Sir, what happens when a star dies? Oh, when a star dies, there is uh, one of uh, several things which can happen. If a star is uh, very, very big, then uh, there is so much of matter sitting in it that it will collapse further because there is no longer heat energy supporting the contraction in which case it forms something called a supernova. So the inside part of the star collapses and releases so much energy that it rips the outside part of the star. That is the stellar explosion, the huge explosion. Uh, otherwise stars like our sun will not go through such a violent phase, they will just quietly uh, settle down and uh, slowly over a period of many billion years become cooler and cooler and cooler. They form what is called a white dwarf and uh, they also give away the outer shell. It forms what is called a planetary nebula, some very pretty planetary nebulas in the in the sky. So those are two of the common, common uh, end games for a star. So there are many answers to that question. What the original mass when the star formed, what, what, what the original mass was, the answer to that question will be different. What is the criterion for a star to become a black hole? Is it related to size or the vacuum it creates after its death or like that? Means does it create a vacuum? There is no vacuum created. What is needed is that the star must be large enough such that nothing can uh, bear its weight. So it collapses into itself. That is a, uh, uh, what leads to a black hole. Mass actually. Mass. More, more mass. precisely mass. <laughs> Sir, how is the age of the star calculated? Is it related to the gas, its composition of gases or something? Basically, it has to do with uh, well, uh, the physics of the manner in which elements are synthesized. This is w relatively well known. Okay. And so, it is a balance between how these things are synthesized and then how it grows. Okay. How it grows and expands and, how, and once it grows to a certain age, how it looks. Okay, looks by looks, I mean the spectra that it emits. Okay, only uh, information we pretty much have about about a star is its its spectrum. Okay, sometimes we know its uh, its mass. Well, many times we know its mass by uh, by calculating the dynamics of other bodies around it. So you know how how big it is and how hot it is. From these two quantities, you can back calculate and say, well, this is how old the star should have been. That's because we've got a fair amount of confidence in the laws of physics that governs these processes as opposed to things like the Big Bang where really our, our understanding of the basic physics and everything is very shaky. Uh, will there be a time when the new stars stop forming? A good question again. Uh, new stars will stop, stop forma forming when uh, there is no more free hydrogen and helium gas in the universe. So in fact uh, astronomers study what is called this star formation history in the universe. So as you go to older and older, earlier and earlier objects, people find that there is more and more star formation happening. And in the current stage, we know that star formation has decreased and it's primarily because there is no more gas left. In fact, there are galaxies called elliptical galaxies which have so little uh, gas in them that they practically have no star formation at all. Thank you. Actually, the answer to your question is, well, there are, there's a lot of star formation here, but not there, not, not so much here. So it varies. Depending upon the local environment, the answer varies. Sir, but when a star dies, does its hydrogen and helium content get back into the universe? So if this is happening, then there will never arise a situation that no stars are forming. Well, when a star dies, usually most of its hydrogen is already depleted. It has burned into helium or helium has burned into carbon, right? Or that, that process has already taken place so that most of the original hydrogen in that locality uh, has been consumed by the star. So when it explodes, it doesn't give back any hydrogen to its environment, but rather heavier, heavier elements that, you know, that we are made up of. And that's only a small fraction of the total mass. Most of the mass will still be in the, in the compact object, which is left behind inside the star, like a neutron star or a white dwarf or something. Thank you, sir.